Namaste guys, in this video we are going to learn how to create holes on a fillet or a curved surface like this one. As you can see the topology is also quite good. Okay, so we will learn how to make it. So you can see this is how it looks like before subdivision applied and this is how it looks like after subdivision applied. So press A and hide all these. Now go to the add mesh and click on cube. Okay, so I am going to make you know fillet here. So select this, press tab, select the edge selection mode, select this edge, press ctrl D and increase the size of it. So I think this much is fine. Now increase your um, scroll up your mouse, okay, scroll down your mouse. So I think uh, this number of loopers is fine or this number is fine. Okay, so there are four segments here. After that what we are going to do is. Uh, press A, press Ctrl R and scroll up your mouse, scroll down your mouse, sorry, and press S and Y. Uh, you will increase the width of it uh, as per your requirement, how big you hold the you want. So I think up to this point is fine for me. Now press A, press Ctrl R again and make a loop it at the center of it. Uh, I think that is fine. Click on face selection mode. Select the face where you want to create a hole. So I want to create my hole exactly here. So press I and click on uh, and insert it. Now right click on it. Click on loop tools. Click on circle. Now here you see in my case it it looks something like this. But in your case it might it might be different. So make sure that you have same setting. First click on fit inside. Make sure that you uncheck the flatten one. If it is flatten checked, you will see something like this, and that is not quite the result you want. So uncheck the flatten. After that, click on radius and increase or decrease the radius as per your requirement. Uh, in my case, I think point uh, point four is fine. Point four is fine for me. And click on regular. Okay. So this is how it looks. Now select these four faces. Press I, press E to insert this in, in uh, inward direction. Again, press E, uh, press E again, press I. Right click on it, loop tools, click on flatten, uh, flatten to make it flat the surface. Okay. Uh, also select go to the edge selection mode. Select this add, select this as loop, right click, loop tools, click on flatten again and select this last one as well. Right click loop tools and click on flatten. See, just make it flatten. Now uh, to make this you know sharp as thing, what we can do is okay, hide all these. Uh, so what we can do is by pressing Alt and shift make sure that you are in edge selection mode so select these edges press ctrl p and de decrease this uh, you know fillet thing uh, i think up to this one is fine okay after that what you have to do is again on edge selection mode uh, by pressing watch select like this edge and this one press ctrl b and Make sure it is small one so you see width and the new segments so this is this is fine so click on shades mode and go here normals and this is how to flex but again it's not a quite good result but if i apply subdivision surface that's a t so you see the hole is look quite good right now but again this shape is not what we want so what i will do uh, let's close now. Now press tab. Now select all these edges. All shift. All shift. All shift. Press Ctrl B and apply a simple bevel here. Now if I see this, now I'm getting the correct result that I want. So this is how I made without using a boolean. And if you don't want this you know be well thing or sharp like thing 
uh, you you can't you you just don't make it okay it's not a big deal uh, this main reason i show you how to make it just to see uh, just to show you how to increase the complexity of the holes that's all uh, nothing more than that so i hope you learned something from this video if you do please make sure that you like subscribe and share this channel to motivate us thanks for watching and have a great day namaste